Bobby C. We've upgraded our RV shower door to a Nautilus retractable shower door. I'd like to show you how we did it and tell you what we think about it. If you like what you see, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Well, why did we change our shower door? Um, we have a Jayco Melbourne, a 24L. Um, we had the typical uh, shower door that you would see in these. It was a uh, three glass panels that rolled on a track. And uh, when it was, the, the size of the shower is uh, 24 inches wide by 32 inches long. So as typical in the Class C's, you know, not a very big shower. To get one that's uh, bigger, uh, you probably need to go into a Class A. You'll see some bigger showers, but most of the showers that you see in the in the Class C's are going to be about that size. So, you know, not a really big shower for a guy like me in particular. So, well, one of the reasons was when I was in the shower and just getting used to maneuvering in it, uh, it often hit my elbow on the glass door. Not fun. Uh, so didn't like that. Uh, the other thing, my wife uh, showers the dog in our shower. So we have a small dog, Izzy. I'll show you a picture of Izzy. Uh, Izzy. Uh, but we uh, we we shower Izzy in the shower, and uh, when that glass door slid open, it really would open only to about halfway because you had a fixed glass panel in there and you had the other door on the track that was rolling so my wife would have about 12 inches to work with to get in there and give the dog a shower so um, you know that wasn't really working very well either um, for some people that do boondocking with these types of glass doors that um, are on a track and they have these rollers uh, ours work fine but if you boondock and you're going to go over some bumps and, and some rougher terrain for some of those folks, uh, you know, the, the glass doors tend to jump off the track a bit and need to be put back on. Um, another thing about the glass shower doors are they're hard to clean, especially when you have the three panes that move back and forth. To, to get in there and clean them and maintain them, it, it's really kind of a pain. So you know, those were some of the reasons for us, and in, in particular the, the width of the shower when it was open. Um, another thing that when you're getting out of the shower, uh, you know, I, I would like to dry off inside the shower and keep a lot of the water that's draining off me in the shower stall. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't do that because there wasn't enough room for me with that style of shower. So, you know, those are some of the reasons that we decided to move to something else. So we started to look at different types of shower doors and, um, you know, we saw these Nautilus um, retractable shower doors. So, as I looked into it further, and I started to look at, again, we look at RVs as you might also on YouTube and whatever. Some of the 2021s that we've been looking at have been featuring uh, these retractable shower doors, like the Winnebago's and some other models. So, you know, we said, you know, let's take a closer look. So. Um, we did, and uh, we found that the Nautilus RB shower doors are made in uh, Ohio, which is the next state over from us, in, by Stowit Industries. And Stowit also makes uh, some residential uh, shower doors of this type also. So, you know, we thought, hey, let's, let's, let's give it a try. So, um, we ordered one. We saw them on Amazon also, but uh, actually... You know, the price uh, from the ordering directly from the manufacturer was better. So uh, we got the shower door for $275 in, in total. Um, that includes um, actually a $35 shipping charge. So for $275, we got the shower door, came in a package, uh, and, you know, we're ready to go. Okay, this is the finished installation of the Nautilus RV shower door. So, um, as you can see, it's uh, there are there are three colors available of the frame. You could get white, bone, or brushed nickel. This is the brushed nickel. Uh, we we thought we'd like that a little better. Um, 
you order the height. We ordered the height just to match what was our existing, our previous shower door was. And then you order the width, so we ordered the 36 inch, and since it's a 32 inch door, you do have to make cuts on the bars at the top and the bottom. Those are really the only, the only cuts that you need to make. So after you remove the existing shower door, um, glass door, then you're going to uh, make sure you line up this is what they call the canister. It has the screen inside. Line up the canister so that it's it's level and even with you know the surface that you you want to install it. In our case, we have a, a sort of a little lip on the ex on the outside ridge of our uh, shower enclosure, so I had to bump it back a little bit behind that so that it would fit flat against the wall, which which I did. Um, there is a self adhesive on the back of these you pull off a paper strip so before you do that and put it in place you want to make sure that you do have it lined up properly where you want it to go and same thing on the other side so this is the other side uh, same thing self adhesive on the back of this again I had to bump it back a little bit from that lip and you want to make sure you get it lined up so that it it's gonna work properly once you do that's how it opens and latches. There's sort of a, a, a ridge on the inside of here, that, a lip that it catches on and opens and closes very easily. So. Inside these bars, um, there are slides that roll in there so it, it keeps it in place. It's a very solid installation once it's all together. Uh, it's not going to go anywhere. Uh, really, after you get it lined up, uh, these uh, sort of end caps on the top and the bottom will hold the bars in place. There's a couple of screws that you're going to use. Um, that's all the cutting that you have to do. And on the inside, all that you have to do is to make sure you use a, a good uh, silicone I used a clear silicone there to make sure it's sealed and watertight uh, as you can see I have uh, two screws with washers up above and also down below which was where the uh, the track for the glass shower drawer rode on so that was the only um, thing remaining from that installation and I just put those in there just to make sure that you know this was still uh, leak proof and I didn't have any issues from that standpoint so um, the only other thing that was left over from the old door was where the frame fit against the shower enclosure uh, there was some silicone there I scraped that off carefully uh, with a putty knife just to make sure you didn't scratch the shower enclosure but pretty easy it actually came off really very easy so I like this this material of the shower door is exactly a polyester it is antimicrobial so it's uh, virtually mold and mildew free uh, again you clean it just with the window cleaner or uh, really a non-abrasive type cleaner and uh, boy if I bump my elbow against that, it's a lot easier than bumping up against a glass shower door. I had some bruises on my elbow from that. So that'll work much better for us, I think. Okay, well that's it for the Nautilus retractable shower door. Um, it's a, an upgrade that I think we're going to like. If you have a, a shower door that you're tired of cleaning, a glass shower door, or if you have a shower curtain and it's not working for you, this could be a nice upgrade to, to check into. Um, really not that expensive, easy to do, just about anybody can do it, so uh, I hope you like it. I think we will. See you next time.